The royal family are said to have pleaded with the Queen not to allow Prince Andrew a role during the memorial service for Prince Philip. Members of the royal family lobbied the Queen behind closed doors not to allow Prince Andrew to overshadow the memorial service for Prince Andrew in Westminster Abbey on Tuesday, March 29. Royal correspondent Richard Palmer has told the Royal Round. Prince Andrew did go on to accompany the Queen to the Abbey and supported the monarch as she walked down the central aisle. Mr. Palmer told host Pandora Forsyth, My understanding is that this came and went, there was a discussion about it some days earlier and the family thought it had gone away. Then suddenly at the last minute, I think the day before it reared its head again and members of the family pleaded with the Queen effectively, and said, You know, please don't do this because it will overshadow the event. She was insistent and Therese a bit of dispute amongst some of us as colleagues about how much influence Andrew has in this. I mean, I know that the family feel that certainly, Andrew should have realized that this was a bad idea and should have said no, I don't think I should do that. But I also understand that people think that he was maneuvering behind the scenes to do this. He continued, I think they feel that Hess using this to try to rehabilitate himself on that. Having said he won't play any part in public life and the longer that he is now going to say has still got a part to play. Mr. Palmer added, but it is important to say that at the end of the day this was the Queen's decision and she took it and I think many people think that she made the wrong decision there. The Duke of York's central role as courting the Queen to the Duke of Edinburgh's memorial service has raised the prospect of Andrew putting in an appearance during the Platinum Jubilee weekend. The disgraced royal who just weeks ago paid millions out of court to settle a civil sexual assault case with a woman he said he had never met, accompanied the monarch to her seat in a shock move in Westminster Abbey on Tuesday. Andrew had been banished from royal life, first bowing out of royal duties in 2019. His fall from grace came after a disastrous news night appearance over his friendship with convicted pedophile Jeffrey Epstein. This January, he was stripped of his honorary military titles and patronages by the Queen. The Duke was also forced to relinquish using his HRH style amid his legal battle. Virginia Jufri was suing him for allegedly sexually assaulting her when she was 17 after being trafficked by Epstein. At the time, Buckingham Palace said, The Duke of York will continue not to undertake any public duties and is defending this case as a private citizen.